Now, fitness versus aesthetics. When um, a lot of people, they think of the fitness industry, they look at guys on uh, the covers of magazines, or they look at like um, the female Instagram models who aesthetically may have uh, very nice bodies. Now, that isn't necessarily fitness, because if you really dive into the, the science and the art of uh, professional bodybuilding, those guys aren't fit. They, um, they starve themselves, they dehydrate themselves before, before competitions, they rise and drop rapidly in, in weight. Um, a lot of them, the, all of the professional bodybuilders use steroids, I don't care what you want to believe. It's just the dirty little secret of industry. There may not be necessarily anything wrong with steroids if you use them correctly, but most of those guys do in fact use steroids. Now, fitness versus aesthetics. Um, fitness. Fitness is your ability to adapt to any situation physically or even mentally um, fitness is your drop in the middle of the woods and the closest safe point our civilization is like 10 miles away and you are fit enough to get there now that is fitness now if you look at aesthetics you drop someone in the middle of the woods who is a bodybuilder they're not gonna get very far or if you if you take one of them fitness models with like the, um, the big fake butts or the big fake breast, they're not going to get very far. They may be aesthetically pleasing because their body is uh, proportionate and all the muscles are the right size and they, they match from left to right, but they're not fit. Now when you get on your own personal journey, you need to decide whether your priority is fitness or aesthetics because you will get a little bit of both with both routes but if you go for fitness overall fitness you will get to a point to where your aesthetics meet your fitness level and that will take a long time but if you go for strictly aesthetics that means you're going to be doing a lot of isolation exercises that means you're going to be doing a lot of like a, a micro supplementation that means you're going to be training specifically to have proportionate muscles and to look a certain way and to maybe be a certain body weight and those are the people that are on fitness fitness magazines and they make covers and they end up on Instagram and stuff like that but if you take someone like uh, like Teron F Beckham who is extremely fit strong and he's aesthetic that's because he's trained to that point to where his aesthetics almost meet his fitness level but he doesn't look as ripped and cut up and shredded as a person on the fitness magazine because he didn't train for that he's an athlete he trained for strength and fitness or if you take someone like rich or um he's probably a bad example you take someone who um I can't think of anyone on top of my head. Uh, Jay Cutler, you take someone like Jay Cutler or Phil Heath, they may look all ripped up and shredded and their muscles match, but they couldn't hold a candle to Toronto F. Beckham when it comes to strength, speed, explosiveness, and fitness. So you really need to decide which one you want because it's gonna be a huge difference in the training style and the supplementation in whatever route you choose. Um, like, subscribe, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the rest of my content. I hope you guys out. I hope I help you guys out. Sorry for tumbling just now. Till next time, peace. Okay, now take a trip inside my mind like you was off the Venice. It's me and B.I.G. L.M.B.O. cooking like chemists. Take them back to way back when like Dennis the Menace. Causing mayhem on the come up like a younger...